Well, after a meeting with doctors across the country on Monday, the CDC is warning that public health officials and drug makers must be transparent about the side effects of taking a coronavirus vaccine. That's right. Both Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine require two doses, and some doctors are worried that patients may not come back for a second dose because of the potentially unpleasant side effects. Now, joining us today is Dr. Timothy Quinn of Quinn Family Healthcare in Ridgeland to talk about some of the potential side effects of taking a vaccine for COVID-19. Dr. Quinn, as always, thank you for joining us today. Hey, thank you for having me today. Now, we've heard that many people say they experience side effects from receiving a regular flu shot. How similar or different are the side effects from a coronavirus vaccine? There's always side effects. From right. I mean, but the deal is you have to weigh the benefit versus the risk. And with the coronavirus vaccine, it is being noted that some of the people that are participating in, in the clinical trials are having some side effects. And some of these reports are greater than the side effect profile for the flu. And the Pfizer representatives, they're, they're admitting this. But at the same time, we're still talking about a small percentage of people getting these very transient side effects and very very mild, like a mild infection with coronavirus, and some are having some fever, some muscle pain and, and aches, some are having some fatigue, but usually these side effects, they dissipate within less than one day. So it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but what we do know for certain is by getting this vaccination, you can avoid getting coronavirus, and we know the side effect to coronavirus for a lot of people in the world has been death. Right. So that's really how doctors reassure their patients to come back for a second dose, even if that first dose makes them feel bad, is that, you know, it's, it's worth this, correct? That, that is correct. But also what the scientists are conveying is when you get the side effects, it's basically your immune system just booting up. I mean, it's making those antibodies, it's getting ready for the fight. In essence, it's letting you know that the vaccine is working because your body is responding to it. And, and that's actually not necessarily a bad thing. Some people do report that they feel, you know, some fatigue, some fever, muscle pain, but at the same time, we're reassuring the public that, hey, your body is getting ready for the fight and chances are you will be successful because we're looking at a 95% effectivity rates. I mean, that's very phenomenal, and that's a lot stronger than the flu vaccination. Right, that's wonderful. Why do you think people these days are so distrustful of vaccines, and how can doctors work around that? Is that because this big push was made to make this vaccine and, and get it out much quicker than we've ever seen anything else? Most definitely. I mean, they called it Operation Warp Speed. And, and, and there was a reason. I mean, people are losing their lives and we don't really don't have the tools to, to fight the coronavirus at this time. So this was a time that we had to act accordingly and, and really rev up the production. But just note that the FDA has been very, very uh, adamant about making sure that safety is number one. And I also want to note that there were no breaks in the clinical trials with Moderna or Pfizer due to someone having severe adverse effect, uh, side effects from the vaccination, meaning that it's, it's been relatively very, very safe with good reports. And I feel very confident that we'll get that uh, emergency use authorization any day now. Right, that is wonderful. Dr. Timothy Quinn with Quinn Healthcare in Ridgeland, thank you so much, as always, for being with us.